This is Shelly Kraft. We're coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the LD Micro Main Event 2013 at the Lux Hotel in Bel Air, California. I have with me Thomas Micah, Calabrex, publicly traded company. The symbol is C L R X. Tom, welcome to SNN Live. Thanks. Thanks, Shelly. Thanks for inviting me. It's good to have you. Let's collaborate and tell me about Collabrex. Well, Collabrex is a data analytics company and our vision is to be the leading source of information to physicians uh, for decision support and we're starting um, in cancer, in molecular medicine and genomic medicine. So tell me how it works. Well, we have two fundamental products. One is we sell to laboratories and the other product we, we provide directly to physicians in their offices and soon we'll provide it to them on an iPhone. Um, on the lab side, there's one interesting thing that's happened recently. There's a company called Foundation Medicine that uh, recently did an IPO and they were valued at the IPO of, for a billion dollars. This is a company that's an integrated lab that does genomic testing for cancer patients. And they uh, design the test, they perform the test, and they produce a report. Well, what Collabrix has done is separated the interpretation of the test results and the reporting from all of the other things that are done. And so we're a, an independent provider of the interpretation of the test results from the tumor biopsy and that's provided to diagnostic labs who included in their reports going back to ordering physicians. So in effect we're enabling other diagnostic companies to compete with foundation medicine. And we have a much lower market cap than a billion dollars. I won't get into that, <laughs> but I will say this. You're in a gigantic market and it's only getting larger. Yeah, actually, it's only just begun. Genomic medicine has been, the landscape has completely changed within the last two years. Do you know, Shelley, if you tried to get your DNA sequence 10 years ago, it would have cost you about $10 million. If you do that today, it'll cost you about three to $5,000. And what that means is that some patients, particularly cancer patients, can afford to pay for that out of their own pocket. Um, what it's also done is driven a lot more testing. And the technology that's being employed is called next generation sequencing. And NGS testing is what we provide interpretations for to laboratories. But we also have another product that we offer directly to physicians through a company called Everyday Health MedPage Today. So if you're a doc and you're an oncologist or a pathologist, you can, can visit MedPage Today and see our products that are called Therapy Finders, which really helps a physician to collect in one place all of the information that they would need to figure out why biomarkers are important, why testing for biomarkers is important in advanced cancer treatment, what those biomarkers mean, and what drugs and clinical trials are available to their patients um, for the particular type of cancer that they might be afflicted with. So you're taking electronic records to a whole new level. That's what it seems like to me. But I want to ask you a question, and you can comment on that in a second. Which avenue is the largest growth, to the labs or to the physicians? That's an interesting question. I think over the short term, the labs will be an, a more important growth vehicle for us. But over the long run, we want to be in front of the physicians themselves. And we want to be the leading source of information on molecular medicine and genomic medicine for those physicians. So I think over the long run, the apps that we make available either on the web or on mobile platforms are really going to drive a lot of our growth. What's your background? Uh, I actually did a degree in microbiology at the University of Illinois, worked for the National Science Foundation, and then I got uh, diverted into electronics. So I was doing semiconductors for a very long time, and now I'm back to what I'm really 
been trained for and used to. I also did a, uh, mad, a master's of business administration from Harvard Business School. So you're finally having some fun. Yes, in the microcap. I'm actually having some great time, but we have a terrific team. I mean, below me, we have Gavin Gordon, for example, who is a Harvard uh, a professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School, who is our director, vice president of uh, business development and strategic alliances. He has commercialized his own diagnostics, so he knows what that whole industry is about. And we have George Lundberg, who is the former editor-in-chief of the Journal of the American Medical Association for 17 years years, started all of their online properties, and he is our chief medical officer and editor-in-chief. He's a terrific guy. Our software, head of software development is from Xerox Park, where all the leading software developers have come from, and our lead, uh, our chief scientist, Smriti Vidwans, is from McKinsey, and her degrees from MIT and UCSF. So I've Didn't got anybody go to school? Anyway, I got a question for you, and this may—I don't want this to stump you. All right. But what's your website? <laughs> www.collabrix.com. Ladies and gentlemen, he's going to spell it for us because it's not—you know. I will. C O L L A B R X. Dot com and the symbol is C L R X. You're a good sport. I gave you a couple of ribbings and you took it pretty good. I'm Shelly Kraft. This is SNN Live. This is Tom Micah. We're at the LD Micro main event 2013 at the Lux Hotel at the, in Bel Air, California. Tom, thanks for coming on. Thanks, to Shelly. SNN Live. It's my pleasure. Good Thank to you have very much. You.